for this farmer, manure is much more than just waste. That's money. It's renewable energy and it's, and it's uh, nutrients that can go back to the soil. We realized that we needed to take what was waste and turn it into something that is a product or a, or a, a benefit. Betting everything on this $40 million biomethanization plant made it possible. The project is quite a big risk in a lot of ways, but uh, we felt that from the long-term sustainability of the farm and from an environmental perspective in the long term, uh, we needed to do something. It all happens in these large containers where bacteria breaks down a mixture of manure and organic waste. The resulting methane, naturally produced, is captured and transformed into renewable natural gas. But what seems like a simple process took years of work. All our thought and all our effort into this project for two years of construction and it's, it's really amazing to see it now coming together. The farm's main source of income comes from selling this gas to Fortis, BC. We signed 20-year contracts, and that gives a farmer the security needed to go and get financing to build the facility. Farmers are not the only one doing this. At the Surrey Biofuel Facility, organic waste from all over Metro Vancouver is also transformed into gas. Even trucks can be powered by this fuel. This year we expect to have about 5 million gigajoules and that's about 2.5-3% of our annual throughput on our system. One of the main barriers, complex and costly infrastructures, says the scientist. It's not uh, a windfall from heaven. It takes a lot of hard work. But with that, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous resource. On the farm, this part of the plant is still under construction. It will soon use what's left from the process to produce fertilizer. You've taken care of some of your waste, you've created energy out of a renewable resource, and you've preserved the nutrients in a, in a usable way so that you can take them and cycle them around one more time. George Dick believes that agriculture can play a big part in mitigating greenhouse gas emissions. We've started down the path as far as the methane collection from manure. There's a few other things that we can do. Uh, and I think as we go along, uh, I, think, I think dairying has a big part to play. He's determined to transition to a more sustainable way to farm. Camille Vernet, CBC News, Chilliwack.